in this lesson, we are going to look at hardware and software. By the end of this lesson, you're going to understand what is meant by hardware and software and be able to list examples for each. So, what on earth is hardware? Uh, hardware is um, equipment that is used to create digital graphics. So, things like your mouse, things like your keyboards, your printers, and your monitors. All of these things can help you create a piece of um, pre production document or a product in the end. So for example, you might use a, a keyboard, for example, to type stuff into your mood board, tap stuff into your work plan, that sort of thing. You use a monitor to visually see what you're doing. Software. Uh, software are programs or applications that are used to create pre-production documents. So all of these are examples of software you could use. So Word, you might use Word to make your mind map, for example. You might you you Photoshop. You might use Photoshop to create the final product. If you're making a poster or a DVD cover, you might use Photoshop for that. PowerPoint. You might use PowerPoint when you're creating a mood board or a mind map, or you might use PowerPoint when you're making a design log when you're creating a final product. Audacity. This is this logo at the bottom here. You might not have seen this before, but Audacity is what's used to record sound. I'm using Audacity now to record my voice to part of the video. Um, Google Slides, that is very similar to PowerPoint, but online instead. And obviously, the big and famous Google Chrome, that is used to research anything, get pictures, get images, um, that sort of thing. So, software. Um, there are two types. There's types of software and there's names of software. So, types of software include things like graphics editing, video editing, and audio editing. You'll notice that the types are quite broad. So in terms of graphics editing, there's loads of editing software for graphics. There's Photoshop, there's Draw Plus, um, GIMP, all that other stuff, yeah? Um, and names are specific examples of each of these here. So for example, an, an example of graphics editing is Photoshop. An example of video editing is Serif Movie Plus. An example of a spreadsheet software is Excel, for example. In your exam, you might be asked a question such as this. Um, list a what type of software could you use to create a poster? All right. And if you get a question like that, the key word in that question was type. What type of software could you use to create a poster? Um, you wouldn't say Photoshop because that would not get you a mark. You can't say Photoshop because Photoshop is a name of a software, not a type of a software. Please bear these in mind when reading the question carefully. Uh, peripherals, and a peripheral is a hardware that connects to a computer, and they are controlled by something called a CPU, or central processing unit, and that is like the brain of a computer. So for example, you plug your mouse in, it sends a, it sends a signal to the brain of the computer, or CPU, and it does whatever it does. It does magic inside the computer, really. Um, and examples of peripherals include monitor, keyboard, hard drive, and speakers. So um, all of these things are external. They're not built into the computer. So monitor, you can plug it in to view it. Keyboard is obviously external. You don't are built into a computer, do you? External hard drive is obviously external inside of the computer, and speakers as well. For your exam, you need to understand the hardware techniques and software used for digitizing paper-based documents. We'll look at that in a moment, what digitizing actually means, and creating electronic pre-production documents. So the bottom one, the creating one, that is using software and hardware to create a mood board, to create a mind map, that sort of thing. So using PowerPoint to make your mood board, using, using Word to make your mind map, that sort of thing. Um, digitizing then. What on earth is digitizing? Digitizing means making it a digital copy that is stored electronically. So if you made a mood board, a physical mood board, that means it's not on the computer, you've got it in your hand, you need to put that onto a computer. Uh, so you would, you would use a scanner for that, all right? So if you made a mood board, you would use a scanner to put, to get it from the paper into a computer and used in your work. Uh, same again, um, photographing. So if you're making a mood board, you need to take pictures yourself. You need a you need a camera 
and you put those onto a computer via scanning them, via email them, whatever you need to do. Um, working today? What's going on here? Okay. Um, so please bear these in mind in particular, types of software and names of software. Yeah, please bear those in mind. They are different things. If it says type, these things. If it says names, these things. 